the band is doing. But even in a tight budget, we are working hard to put resources into those things that truly matter. Those things that, as Prime Minister, I want to see change about our country. I am passionate about making sure that every child in every school gets a great education. And that's why on Monday this week I confirmed that we will in this budget honour our election commitment to reward great teachers. I want teachers who are doing the right thing by students in their schools to see greater rewards. It's why yesterday we announced a new program, $200 million, to assist schools to meet the needs of students with disabilities because I want those students too to have a great quality education. And I'm very pleased to be here today able to talk about another election commitment that will be honoured and that is one to assist families with the costs of teenagers. Now we should acknowledge that we are here at Southern Cross Catholic Vocational College. This is a state-of-the-art, world-class facility. It's been made possible by our Trades Training Centre program where the government invested $11 million in creating this world-class training facility. But we didn't do it alone. We did it working with Catholic education and the local community. And I'd like to take this opportunity to publicly thank Catholic Education for partnering with government and making available $11 million too, so that together a $22 million facility could be created. And there are a number of individuals to whom particular thanks go. I'd like to thank Brother Kelvin for his work in making this possible. I'd also like to thank Dan White for making it possible and to our principal who's shown us the facility today with very great and appropriate pride, to Patrick O'Reilly, thank you very much for having us here. This is a facility where students can get a hands-on education from hair and beauty through the construction trades, through the business studies and media studies. We wanted through our trades training centres program to create new options for students because it's so important that kids stay at school. We don't want 16, 17 year old kids drifting away from education into a life of unemployment and idleness. That's why facilities like this one are so important. But to keep kids at school, there's another part of the equation, apart from giving them options that engage them and give them real skills. The other part of the equation is helping families with the cost of teenagers. Our current system of providing family benefits are payments that the government makes available to assist families with the cost of raising kids. Our current system makes the assumption that teenagers cost less than younger kids that somehow a 16 year old is going to cost less than a 15 year old. It's an old fashioned model that's really based on an assumption that kids are likely to leave school early. Well, in the modern age, we don't want kids leaving school early. We want them engaged in full time education, getting the skills that they will need for the rest of their lives. That's why in this budget, we will change our family payment system so that the maximum rate of uh, assistance for a teenager, a family with a teenager, will be $4,200. That is, we will give more money to families to support their teenagers. We'll no longer make the assumption that somehow 16, 17, 18, 19 year olds cost less to support than younger children. That's the investment that we will make in the maximum rate of family payment, which goes to those families that need it the most. But more than 60% of families get uh, more than the basic rate of family payment, and those families with teenagers will benefit from today's announcement. This will benefit around 650,000 families, uh, teenagers, and make a difference for them but it comes with the condition that these students are in full-time education. They need to be in school or in some form of full-time education. 
We want to work with families to assist them with the cost of teenage children, but we want that to be on the condition that those kids are learning. It's good for families, additional help is cost of living. It's good 